Yo, what's going on, Blackish fam? I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Uh, man, we're continuing to go through Aesop Rock, the Garbology album. Um, and right now we're on O Fudge. So we've been uh, taking our time going through it, really dissecting it. And, uh, you know, it's not it hasn't been as complex as some of the earlier work. Um, I think when I first got started, the very first thing I did was um, Mystery Fish. Then we did Kirby. Uh, then we did Daylight. Daylight was as complex as it gets. Um, but then we got into uh, Pizza Alley and Wolf Piss. And uh, I've been learning a lot more about Aesop Rock. Um, but some of the more recent tracks have been just really short. Looks like this one is as well. Uh, it's only 3 minutes and 20 seconds. So let's get into it. Maybe there's a, a lot of substance. Let's check it out. Oh, fudge. That's like kind of saying, like a polite way of saying, oh, fuck, right? Like, oh, fudge, G. Williker. Been loving the beats, though. I guess that's Blockhead, right? That's his part. Uh, I, I guess it's a collaboration they've had for a while. Stirring up the pot, add a couple worms, herbs from the swamp. Okay, so he's, he's talking about some uh, witchcraft, right? He said stirring up the pot. I guess there could be a double meaning, right? Because it definitely sounds like he's talking about a witch. But when you normally hear somebody t stirring the pot, it means to like agitate uh, a situation, right? Or to cause a reaction or trouble. You want to stir up the pot. Uh, let's talk about uh, Donald Trump or left versus right or Joe Biden or COVID or um, is wearing mask effective, right? Your throats. Let's talk about it during Thanksgiving dinner, right? <laughs> and then let's also talk about your ex and why he's not here or your baby mama drama, right? It's like bringing up stuff that you know it's going to get a reaction. Um, but he also went into like add a couple worms, herbs from the swamp, right? Conjure up a curse, turn a person to a frog. Now you're talking about stirring up the pot. You're talking about stirring up a cauldron, right? Like all you need is a drop of virgin blood and some hair from my chinny chin chin, right? No, it's just a, a different, uh, the wordplay there. Yeah. Stirring up the pot. Add a couple worms. Herb from the swamp. Conjure up a curse. Turn a person to a frog. Courtesy to blob with the shirt full of Plus mildew, pretty much a bowl of sticky stuff and soft tissue. Hemoglobin, cat hair, peanut butter, coffee. Born with a cough and a finger in the frosting. Ooh, a finger in the frosting. That's a finger up the ass, right? Now, at least in the urban context. Now, it sounds like he's just being a slob, uh, right? He said, uh, what did he say? Courtesy the blob? Now, where was it? With the shirt full of yeah, courtesy the blob, the shirt full of snot. Right, so either he's sick, right, or you're wiping your nose, or on your, you're using your, your, it's like how you would act if, uh, when your girlfriend's out of town, right, you're just, uh, you're ordering pizza, there's boxes on the floor, there's piled up dishes, you haven't made it up to the bedroom, so you're just crashing on the couch, right, it sounds like he's, uh, chilling hard, right, um, it, it, let's let it ride here. Drop a curse, turn a person to a frog. Courtesy to blob with the shirt full of snot. Plus mildew, pretty much a bowl of sticky stuff and soft tissue. Hemoglobin, cat hair, peanut butter, coffee. <laughs> yeah, this, he's got a cat, right? We, we know about Kirby, peanut butter, coffee, hemoglobin. That's uh, that's different. Hemoglobin is your as the protein. That's in your red blood cells, right? It carries oxygen to your other organs and tissue, and it transports uh, carbon dioxide from your organs and tissue back to your lungs. Um, so, like, if you had a, a hemoglobin test, let's say, and your hemoglobin level is lower than normal, it means that you have a low, uh, like, red blood cell count, right? You're anemic or you have anemia. Um, but that's what hemoglobin is. It's kind of weird that he referenced that. Now, I wonder if he's sick, right? He's talking about a shirt full of snot. Um, when we talk about this album, uh, this is something from 2021. So uh, this is the height of COVID. Um, you know, he could be, you know, he could be stuck in the house with COVID, right? Or at least he's sick. Uh, but he's talking about mildew and a ball of sticky stuff, soft tissue. So 
Um, you know, just we, we don't know exactly what's going on here yet, but it definitely sounds like he's bumming out, right? All the sticky stuff and soft tissue, hemoglobin, cat hair, peanut butter, coffee. Born with a cough and a finger in the frosting. Yeah, born with a cough and a finger in the frosting. It almost sounds like he's referencing more of a long-term illness, right? He's saying, I was born with a cough. Like he's born an asthmatic or he's born, um, right? It, it, you know, born with a cough and a finger in the frosting. That's a finger in the butthole. Like you're checking for... Uh, like your prostate or something, right? So uh, I wonder if he actually has any long. Uh, is he is he anemic? Is he uh, asthmatic? I don't really know enough about him uh, to say otherwise. Cat hair, peanut butter, coffee. Born with a cough and a finger in the frosting. I can't stop sweating. People can't. at the store say I think that man's melting. <laughs> the fan's not helping. It's probably a job for Abraham Van. <laughs> Who saw that movie where uh, the professor is uh, it's actually Abraham Lincoln, um, but he ends up turning into like a vampire a hunter. Um, but that's, that's actually a lot of, um, th there's a story with that. Professor Abraham Van Helsing uh, is a fictional character. This is from Dracula, and he is a vampire hunter. Um, so there's something wrong, right? He's sweating. He said, I can't stop sweating. Born with a cough and a finger in the frosting. He's sick, right? He's a people at the store saying, I think that man's melting. So he's probably just just sweating. He's uh, th Things are not going right, right? And he said the fan's not helping. It's probably a job for Abraham Van Helsing. <clears throat> so he's saying he's an, a vampire or he's transitioning. I wonder if he got COVID. Fan's not helping. It's probably a job for Abraham Van Helsing. I woke up on fire and speaking a dead language. That's so hard. Damn. What did he just say? Several octaves deeper than his average. The how is not important. It's the translation that matters. It says beware the flesh in which our kid evil gathers. God damn. God damn is right. That's so deep, right? Listen to he said, I woke up on fire, right? He's talking about this, uh, the sweats, right? He's got, probably has a fever, uh, which could be, uh, you know, a dream or a nightmare that's, uh, uh, you know, that's brought about by the fever. Um, but he's he's obviously very sick. Uh, he said, I woke up on fire speaking a dead language backwards. Like, what do you speak, a Sumerian and shit, right? He said, several octaves deeper than his average. If you guys ever saw... Um, uh, something of the fourth kind, right? Uh, visit the fourth, third, first, what is it? Uh, but it's about uh, interaction. There's different types of interactions with aliens you can have. A uh, visit of the fourth kind is when they're actually physical. They can be taking you and doing stuff. And in the video, they have real footage. It's supposedly based on a real story and what goes on in Alaska. And, um, but they, they're speaking in different languages. Um, and, and those people are like levitating and it's crazy because some of this is still, uh, is actually caught on camera, like the dash cam of the cops, um, the cops dash cam. So, but he says, uh, the how is not important. I thought that was the hardest part. He said, the how is not important. It's the translation that matters. Right. And what are they saying? He said, it said, beware the flesh. Right. And what did he say? Beware the flesh in which archaic evil gathers. God damn, right? And that's exactly what he said. God damn, like that's so hard, bro. The how is not important. It's the translation that matters. <laughs> He's like, I'm fucked. <laughs> You know, so he is talking, so he's he's still talking about the blob, right, that he was talking about, um, and it sounds like he's describing he that, right? Retreats from the sun, bleeds from his gums, asleep in the tub. Fever. So, you know, he could be, uh, you know, I slosh when I move. Mop, not a broom, right? He already said he's sweating like hell, um... But he's talking about a blob, right? I slosh, right? I'm a mop, not a, 
not a broom. He's leaving a trail of wetness. My body ate my shoes. So he's just like, imagine the, the icon for poop, right? But just purple. That's what I'm envisioning, like just a smiling blob with a robe on. He said, I don't have any bones. So either you're tripping or you're going through something, right? And he's saying he retreats from the sun, bleeds from his gums. I sleep in the tub. So, uh, you know, he's, he de definitely sounds like uh, he's transitioning to a vampire or a zombie. Um, you know, it sounds like he's isolated as well. Um, though he could have COVID, right? He's talking about how sick he is. Uh, retreating from the sun means you're not opening the blinds. You, you've been in the house for a while, right? I sleep in the tub. Um, you know, that could be, uh, it could be somebody who's just bored, right? It sounds like he's isolated. He's sleeping in the tub. You're just trying to do something different or you're protecting yourself. Yo. This morning, several hunters from the region put a bola on his spirit. Call the number if you see it. The <laughs> they put a they put a price on his head, right? People are after him now, so he's transitioned into something that's ugly. It's almost like uh, Shrek, right? Somebody once told me the world was da -da -da -da. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, <laughs> right? Now, but in the beginning of Shrek, they have these posters. And uh, they're looking for, um, what, fairy tale, uh, fairy animals or uh, members of the animal. He's like, donkey, right? I'm a walking, talking donkey. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it kind of reminds me of that. But bolo means be on the lookout. Um, he said, uh, uh, you know, what did, he, what did he say there? Put a bolo on his spirit. Call the number if you see it. Right? From the region, put a bolo on his spirit. Call the number if you see it. Container at the bungalow, bubbling at the gum line. The bushy tailed and bug eyed. Come in every color fungi. Oh, Ooh. My no, maybe he's tripping, right? He's talking about fungi. Bushy tail and bug eye means somebody who's alert, right? He says, come in every color. Um, so maybe it, it doesn't matter what color you are, right? Or what color the fungi is. Form isn't in the folklore. The new color fungi. Oh, fudge. My new form isn't in the folklore. The new norm wasn't in a brochure. Okay, so he's, he's talking about, uh, it definitely sounds like this is happening in COVID. There's some key words here, right? He's talking about the isolation. He's talking about being sick. He's talking about sweating. Right, he's talking about sleeping in the bathtub, maybe because he was taking cold showers. Um, but he said the new norm wasn't in the brochure. This isn't what they said this would be, right? My new form isn't in the folklore. Um, so it's not, he said there's no known cure, right? So it definitely sounds like uh, this is a period where he's isolated. Uh, sounds like he might have got COVID and he's just stuck inside. He's sick. Uh, he feels just like a big blob moving through the world. And he's like, man, this new norm wasn't in the brochure. Motherfuckers, I didn't sign up for this shit, right? And in the folklore, the new norm wasn't in the brochure. There's no known cure, nothing more to figure out. Just sit around and grow horns. Yeah, just get mad, right? Yeah, he's talking about germs now. Yeah, it sounds like he's getting mad that there's nothing else to figure out, right? All he can do is sit around and get mad. He's growing horns. The new norm wasn't in the brochure. No, no known cure. More to figure out. Just sit, sit around, around and grow, grow horns. On <laughs> germ slide. He's gelatin, right? He's just a, a blob. He's just a sloppy blob, right? Now. I'm gelatin, forever in line for the hors d'oeuvres. Coat full of crab toast, foam at the whistle. Future of a puddle with a phone in the middle. With no signal. The foam at the whistle. Future of a puddle, right? He's this blob form, right? With no bones, he's mentioned. Uh, two sets of mouth of teeth, right? Now he's a he's a future puddle. Maybe when it gets warm, maybe when things get better, he's gonna go back to the the way that he came. Uh, future of a puddle with a phone in the middle. But it's got no signal, right? Is is he talking about a person, right? Or just this mass of cells, this mass of energy, uh, but there, it's intellectual in the middle. But there's no signal. I don't know. That's that's. Let me know if you guys have a way to break that down. The future of a puddle 
would make sense with the blob. And he's talking about, right, leaving a, 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 like a mop streak as he walks. He's just like dripping, right? Um, but a puddle with the phone in the middle with no signal. Hors uh, d'oeuvres, coke full of crab toast, foam at the whistle. Future of a puddle with a phone, phone in, in the, the middle. middle. With no signal. It's emotional. <laughs> uh, it sounds like this might be the end. I don't know if he goes again. Yeah, fever and a cold. Yo, it's sick. I, I, you know, my, my impression, again, this is a reaction as well as a breakdown. So uh, you kind of get both ends here. But my first reaction is he's talking about um, being in isolation, uh, and he's starting to trip out, right? He's got COVID, things aren't going well for him, um, but he's talking about that experience of isolation. Uh, man, I'm, I'm having some fun with this. We're going to be making our way through the Garbology album. Uh, if you guys are fans of Aesop Rock or fans of intellectual music and intellectual breakdowns, man, show some love by subscribing to the channel. We're going to be making our way through the entire album, um, and we hope to see you guys on the ne next uh, next track.